Welcome, pro wrestling fans. I, Joseph Grutt, once again. Tom Bojack. Tom Bojack. And it is hotter than a motherfucker in here. We just got done watching Raw. Some big things ending Raw. Saw CM Punk, John Cena, JBL, Batista, and Kane all in the ring at the same time. And you do recall, in our last video, we spoke of that Inferno match at SummerSlam. So, we have a little prediction to make. It's going to be a battle royale, and it's going to be in, in an Inferno match. For, first time ever. First for the uh, for the World Heavyweight Champion. Ship. I almost pulled got Steiner there. <laughs> uh, so, <clears throat> how do you think it's going to go? I'm going to put all the cards on the table. I love CM Punk. Um, I'd like to see his title reign be long and prosperous. But, I cannot see... Him going into this, as by far, compared to the other men, by far he is the newcomer. So you're saying not just to the Inferno match, but to the WWE in general. So you're saying he's less likely, he's lower on the totem pole, basically, is what you're saying? I'd say that none of the other men, except for Kane, would have a better chance at going over in this match. Okay. But it's I do match. believe that Kane will prevail. Okay. <clears throat> I believe CM Punk is going to retain his title. I do believe that Kane will be the the last one in. And I, I think CM Punk is going to have a decent little title run. Um, and right now, Raw's looking at ratings. <coughs> so is Kane going to bring in ratings as world champion? That's all what it's all about. And CM Punk has not had a cha real change differential in the rating system and the ratings. So why really mess with anything? Unless they think it's going to shake <coughs> things up. Well... An unmasked cane would not up ratings, but a masked cane, I do believe you'd get some ratings in there because you'd bring back some of the followers that have stopped watching WWE so much okay. to get that little bit of nostalgia back in their life. Okay. A lot of people, he's referring to the Attitude Era, of course, <laughs> and which a lot of people who were burned feel like they were burned <coughs> in that era, like at the end of that era with the, like the crappy wrestling and stuff like that. So I guess I, I guess I could see where you're going with that. I still think CM Punk. Is one of the many faces of that company. There, there's some up and coming talent in WWE that could really do what, what a CM Punk is doing right now. I agree. I agree. Um, so I don't know. I think CM Punk maybe. Honestly, this is what I would like to see. I would like to see uh, Kofi keep doing what he's doing with the IC and CM Punk keep doing what he's doing with the world. Build them both back up and do do a an, a Warrior Hogan and have a uh, an IC versus the world. They haven't done that in a while. And they really haven't. And, and, and for all those who have followed CM Punk in, in, you know, in, in, in other organizations, uh, Ring of Honor, uh, FIP, even TNA, mm -hmm. he can definitely get down there with the best of the high flyers. Yeah. You know, um, and I think that would be an excellent matchup. Um, when will it happen? Will it happen at all? I don't know. I, uh, but I do believe that that would uh, you know, c call for an excellent event. I think it'd be very good. <clears throat> would you do you think if they did it the right way, it would be strong enough to to main event? Uh, well, it couldn't main event at WrestleMania unless he won the Royal Rumble. Correct. So let's let's say that he doesn't win the Royal Rumble, but it's at that pay per view. One of the three main events they usually do at a pay per view. Do you think it could be one of those three? If they did it the right way. If if they did. It right. if, the, if the IC title was back <coughs> up to its prestige, everything was going good. We'll see. Yeah, and, and that, that up. That goes along with. Uh, with how much the, the, the Intercontinental title has dropped off from what it was. Yeah. It, going back to the era of, of uh, the Warrior and, and, and Hogan, that title actually meant something. That, you know, it wasn't the World Heavyweight, but it was close enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that really did set the standard. It wasn't, you know, a young, a young, uh, a newcomer title. But yeah. as they've said it now, it's a, it's a new, uh, it's a newcomer title. It's not, no longer that stepping stone for, for, for you to become a heavyweight champion. Yeah. Um, it, 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 you know, it, it's kind of like you're there and you plateau and then you just decrease again. Okay. And I, I hope agree. that doesn't happen to Kofi Kingston. I, I really yeah, me do. Me neither. I'm so over on this guy. I, <coughs> yeah. I, come on, I, I, talked to him, I talked about him, like his first showing on ECW. It was phenomenal. Yeah. Of course, he wrestled jobbers, but now he's starting to mix it up a little bit. That move he pulled on Paul Burchill tonight, he got, <laughs> the only other person I've ever seen get air like that off the rope is AJ Styles. That's it, really. Uh, that's the only other person. I think he might even got higher than AJ Styles. Yeah, and and um, yeah. I I mean, I, in all reality, um, Kofi Kingston is uh, he's for the people 
for the people that 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 don't like the are, are not necessarily don't like but that aren't so over on just you know you've got to be six foot seven mm-hmm. and three hundred pounds to to be someone to watch you know what yeah. I mean he is what wrestling fans want to see yeah true wrestling fans yeah I mean there's still there's still fans who enjoy a technical match I enjoy it very t- I enjoy technical matches I enjoy them a lot I also I enjoy both both styles of wrestling high flying. The only problem with high flying is sometimes they do too much of it in the match. That could kind of be a little bit irritating. But yeah. when it when a, AJ Styles knows how to work a match, high flying match, he does really good at it. Right. Um. So yeah, it could it could be very interesting. I think down the road it would be awesome that it worked out that way. But we're getting off subject of the Inferno match. We really are. But that's okay. Um. So that's our prediction. There's going to be an Inferno match at SummerSlam Battle Royal for the world. Is it the World Wrestling? Oh, no, it's the just the Heavyweight Championship. Heavyweight Championship. World Heavyweight and, Championship. And, and, and with global warming, this summer is hot. I believe that the WWE is trying to make it a little hotter. <laughs> You're retarded. This, this is why Tom Bojack is not a, 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 a figure on the show very much. That's how I roll, though. That's how I roll. You're done. Have a nice night. We'll see you guys next week.